My talk today was talking about bladder preservation and that's where you're giving patients treatment for their muscle invasive bladder cancer but without a, the radical operation of removing their bladder. Um, the approaches include giving radiotherapy alone but that's now considered old fashioned and really chemo radiation where you're actually giving chemotherapy at the same time as the radiotherapy is now considered the standard of care. So I went through the various approaches because in America uh, they tend to give some radi chemo radiation and then check the patient's bladder to see if there's been a response to the treatment and if there's not they then go straight ahead to have their bladder removed. Whereas the UK approach is to actually give all of the uh, ra chemo radiation um, and wait three months to see if there's been a complete response to the treatment. If there hasn't they go and have a salvage cystectomy but if they have had a complete response um, they are then just followed up in a surveillance programme. So I described the data uh, for some of the various studies from America and the UK. Um, I also looked at uh, what happens if the patient recurs because about a third of patients actually have a, a, a superficial recurrence in the bladder which is not life-threatening but needs to be treated and that tends to be treated along the usual pathways for non-muscle invasive bladder cancer. In the situation where a patient has a muscle invasive recurrence, and that's in about 13 to 14 percent of patients, um, we usually recommend salvage cystectomy. One of the issues with bladder preservation in patients is that we're often giving it to elderly patients and so they may not actually be suitable for having a salvage hysterectomy anyway. Um, so then we have to think of other approaches to the treatment of these patients. I'm very interested in the treatment of elderly patients uh, with muscle invasive bladder cancer because really over the age of 80 most patients are not uh, suitable for having a cystectomy and a lot of surgeons won't actually do that operation on them. So really their only chance of cure is to have the bladder preservation. And we know from experience, a lot of experience, that patients do very well with radiotherapy alone. They cope just as well as the younger patients, but that's not really a standard of care anymore. And really, we should be trying to give them chemo radiation. But one of the problems is that elderly patients don't tolerate the drugs that we're currently using as well as younger patients. And really, I think it's really important that we try and find new agents that don't have many side effects generally in the body, but also don't make the side effects of radiotherapy any worse. Uh, and that's one of the aims of, of, of research that I'm doing with my group.